being a YouTuber is both the easiest and the hardest job that I've ever had before. Let me explain. We are currently in the beautiful, snowy Central Park, Manhattan, New York City. This is absolutely beautiful. I do wish it snowed more. I gotta be careful because I feel myself slipping around. But uh, yeah, so being a full-time YouTuber, I'm not gonna lie, this is a super, super fun job. You get to be your own boss, wake up whenever you want, make your own schedule. I don't think I've worked more than three hours at a time since since uh, quit leaving my corporate job. Check out that view. That's a beautiful view. Absolutely beautiful view. We got a cyclist right there. Beautiful views in, in the park in New York City. So yeah, um, you know, typically I work for two hours, then take a break, and work for two hours, then take a break. Collectively, I'm probably, probably uh, collectively I can't talk. Collectively, I'm probably working about a six to 10 hour day, um, but it's broken up, you know. I may wake up in the morning and do some YouTube shorts for about two hours, then I'll shower after having a cup of coffee or two, and then I'll film some videos, and then I will uh, maybe, do, maybe do something else, go to the gym, take a nap, and then I'll edit some videos. Editing videos is actually something that I didn't really like at first, but I actually found that I got pretty good at it I also dialed it back with the editing. I've gotten better at talking to the camera. When you do something every day for four months, that's you get you get pretty good at it. Anyway, getting to the point of the video. So when you're a full-time YouTuber, right? This is like my main source of income. And that's what I mean by it's incredibly hard. YouTube does not pay a lot, especially with my measly two and a half thousand subscribers. Oh, by the way though. Thank you to every single one of you that's subscribed. Reminder, consider subscribing if you haven't already. It's totally free. I'm starting to hear that in my sleep. <laughs> but um, when I think of it as a money maker, no, not good. Unless I, maybe when I have 20 or 30,000 subscribers, I'll start to make a little bit of money. But in my opinion, you need closer to 100,000 subscribers to make money off of the, what YouTube calls it is AdSense revenue. That's getting monetized on YouTube. But then at that but then at that point, you have brands coming to you, you can charge and it just gets easier and easier the more people you got watching, right? But if I start thinking of, oh, I'm not making enough money to pay my rent, I'm struggling, I shouldn't be able to, you know, all this stuff, I shouldn't be going out to eat, I shouldn't be spending three or four bucks on a cup of coffee. What am I doing? What am I doing? Then it's a hard, it's a hard job, the hardest job I've ever had. Because at that point, I'm doing all this work. And when you break it out into, I'm, I'm making like, I don't know, a dollar an hour maybe? <laughs> Less? But I, also it's easy because I'm having fun, I'm learning, the channel's growing. I feel like I'm growing as a person. Uh, everything's on me. Everything's on me. What the hell, it just happened to my screen. Everything is on me. The screen just shut off, but the camera's still rolling. Everything is on me, but that's actually taught me a lot just to be, I've always been a self-motivator. I've always had a good work ethic. I've always kind of tried to be the best at, the best at whatever I can. So naturally I'm trying to be an awesome YouTuber, right? Awesome videographer, tell a great story, all that stuff, make good thumbnails that are near and dear to me, not just getting clicks. And that's pretty much my next point I'm gonna talk about is it's easy because the topics that I talk about here, style, cycling, maybe not, maybe not lately because it's cold, style, cycling, and New York City vlogs, and some camera equipment, maybe some financial stuff. That's all stuff that I just think about and I've been thinking about it for a long time. So I'm just putting my thoughts out there and it seems like all you guys and girls really enjoy it. Are there are any girls watching. So that's where the job is easy. I feel like I just get to be myself, do what I wanna do, right? Like I got myself from Queens to Manhattan today because it's snowing. I didn't wanna miss the beautiful white blanket that is the snow in New York City. So that's the best job because I'm in full control of my schedule. Now I'm still disciplined, I still gotta be disciplined, but that also means that I, uh, 
you know, I, I don't have a problem with being disciplined. You know, I was talking to someone that I used to work with. Rob, if you're watching, what's up? Thanks for watching if you are, Rob. I spoke to my friend Rob two months after leaving my job and doing the full time. And he said, you still making videos? I said, yeah, every day. What do you, why not? And now doing daily videos is, hold on, jump cut, I gotta blow my nose. Unless you want me to not edit out the, the blow of my nose. So doing daily videos, that's, that's easy for me. I can bust out a video depending on, depending on what type of video. I can bust out a video, I think my record is an hour and a half. Five minute video, minimal editing. I knew what I was talking about. That's it, you know, I mean, it, it, the topic that I've been thinking about for a long, long time, um, you know, it's something, you know, that's hour and a half is my goal. And that's with the thumbnail that I made in Canva. That's with, you know, using TubeBuddy to get a good, uh, a good title tags. You know, I just, you do something every single day. Um, you know, you, you start to get fast at it. And that's pretty much what I like about it. I've always believed that the first time you do something, it's going to take a long time. But then the 200th time you do something, it's going to take you, it's going to be much easier. You're going to be able to do it in like 30 minutes. What used to take you eight hours is not going to take you one hour. And that's what I've always experienced with my jobs that I've had. I've always experienced that with, with anything, weightlifting, cycling, anything, anything. You, we tend to forget that we progress pretty easily if we do something consistently. So that's what I mean by the best job. I'm out there, I'm putting myself out there. I've got great camera confidence. Vlogmas definitely helped me with that. Uh, when I watched my videos even from a month ago, we're mid-January 2024, I watched some of my December 15th videos. I can see I'm a little bit droney. I forget about the videos before September 1st. Those videos, that was, uh, I mean, they're good videos, but compared to right now, I uh, my camera confidence was a fraction of what it is right now. So that's what I mean by it's the best job. If I look at what I'm learning and what I'm experiencing and what I get to do every day, living out my dream, then it's a great job. If I look at it and say, I'm running out of money, which I don't have as much money left as I thought, and YouTube's only paying me 50, whatever they're paying me a month, it's a fraction of what I was making at my corporate job, reality starts to set in and I start saying, well, I'm most likely, I don't want to, but I'm gonna have to figure something else out and most likely we have to get another job, go back to the corporate job. So that's like where it's like the worst job just because the pay is nothing and I would have to be like a hamster on a wheel trying to just make, I don't know, if you scale it up, like, you know, let's say I make like average $2 a video, I mean, and I need a couple thousand to live just to pay the rent. I mean, you know, here, here in New York, what, I've got to make like a thousand videos a month? <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. So when I think like that, it's the worst job. But I tend to always, I've never had a problem of separating YouTube and money. Because my mind, this is all an experience, right? And if the money gets low, which it has gotten low, then I'm gonna have to make some decisions by maybe selling some camera gear that I no longer use, and I'm gonna have to figure out what to do for money. But I'm not looking at YouTube like a cash cow. But I should also say that I think that anyone can be successful on YouTube. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So I know for a fact, well, almost for a fact, that I will be able to make a living off YouTube. I would like it to happen in the next few months, but it might take two years, three years, maybe five years. So that's the thing, it, it will come. I've just had to taught myself to be patient. And that's another lesson that I've learned. A lot of lessons, a lot of lessons you learn when you go, you go out there by yourself and just try to do everything yourself and you're a one man show. And yeah, I know people say like, you should get an editor, you should this, you should that. I, I like doing everything myself because I'm learning everything and just being self-reliant. So that's just some of the struggles with YouTube. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Clickbaity titles, making making videos for the views, and then making videos for just myself. This is a video for myself, right? I wanted to come to New, uh, well, not New York. I wanted to come to Manhattan. 
Manhattan is New York City, so is Queens. So I'm, I was in the city, I live in the city. I just live in Queens, not, not Manhattan. So when I make one video for myself that I'm interested in making, like a, a, a New York video, a camera video, that's important to me and that keeps me going. But then I also want to, you know, I understand that if I do want this channel to grow even a little bit next year, I do have to look at the analytics, but that's okay. I mean, my niche, I'm interested in it, style. You know, think about style all the time. It's pretty much on autopilot when it comes to style because I figured out my style and it works for me. However, I don't know. I mean, it's still a great job. I mean, happy I'm doing it. So. So it's only a struggle if I start to really stress about the views and really stress about the analytics and say, oh no, this is not working. But I tend to, naturally, I don't think about it like that. I think about, you know, this is supposed to be a fun job. Why do it if it's not fun? And even if I do have to figure out something else for money, whether it's driving Uber Eats, going back to being a manager somewhere, just see where life takes me. I mean, I, I, I'm okay with that. But at the same time, I'm gonna do everything I can to be successful here and keep doing this because I love what I do. However, <laughs> I keep going back and forth. This is what I do. However, sometimes you got to face reality and you got to pay your bills. You can't go hungry. So you got to do what you got to do. If you got to be a nine to five worker, and, you know, rely on wages, that's what you got to do. Uh, and one of my cousin-in-law, one of my cousins, Jimmy, Jim Holtzman, what's up, Jim? And uh, I think they, my cousin Laura Jean was saying she watches my videos. Hey Laura, glad to have you here if you're seeing this. Hope you're enjoying the Central Park snow. Um, you know, he was telling me, you know, think about, I don't remember exactly what he said, but it clicked in my head where before when I was working eight to five, I'd always struggled after five to do anything except go to the gym. I could never be creative. It was always, it was always tough to make a video and film a video and edit a video. And it was always a huge struggle. But like I was saying before at the beginning, I think the beginning of this video, what used to take me four hours now takes me an hour. And I have a lot of systems in place where I plan the video, I film the video, I edit the video, and then I do the thumbnail and the title. I've actually been thinking about the thumbnail and title first lately, just because it's how you optimize, you worry about the packaging and the image of the actual video. But that's like a four-step process, planning it, notepad app in my iPhone, filming, filming with whatever camera you got, um, editing, a lot of fun to edit. Um, and then the packaging, thumbnail, you know, doing the thumbnail, doing the title, adding the affiliate links, adding, adding all that stuff. By the way, affiliate links for the DJI Osmo, Poc, uh, Osmo Action 4 in the description below. I'm actually having a lot of fun filming with this camera. Cheapest vlog camera, best vlog camera you can get, bang for your buck wise. So, yeah, you know, where I, what used to take me four or five hours, now it takes me two hours. And I'm just so used to doing this every single day that I do think that if I do have to do something else, figure out something else for money, it won't be a problem to keep it going. Plus, something I realized too, if I get a nine to five job in New York City, in Manhattan that is, I could vlog every day, geez. Pull the camera out, take this tiny thing, take the phone. I'm a, I'm a fan, geez, this is like a down, downhill and Gotta be careful. I'm a fan of these smaller cameras lately because it just it frees my mind. I have peace of mind where if I drop this camera, it's, it's, it's not a big deal. It's designed to be dropped. Whereas my ZV-E1 with that flippy screen, not gonna be good if you drop it. Plus, you could also, you know, super small, super lightweight. If you're a gym rat like I am and you're always doing workouts three or four times a week, it's tough holding a heavy camera out like that with just your hand. So it's, uh, and then plus it's so expensive, uh, you know, a lot of pros of just using your phone or something like the Action 4. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. 
I know I enjoyed making it. New York City. Greatest city in the world. That's another video. Is New York worth it? That's another video we'll talk about another time. So, back to the, back to the vlog. Well, what I've been doing lately is coming into the city and filming three or four videos at once. Just better bang for your buck. All right, battery is almost dead. Oh no, 30%, got plenty of battery left. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Reminder to consider subscribing if you like the content you see. And I'll see you next time.